Hello YouTube, this is how to connect the IOGET GWU627 device. It's a wireless device that you connect to your a wireless network, but you have the ability to get a hardwire Ethernet connection on the back of the box right here. You, t you take that the cable that they give you and you just go ahead and plug it straight into your Ethernet port right on the back of your computer. Now this is how to set it up. You go to your little local area connection icon on the bottom right of your screen uh, Windows 7 you have to change adapter settings I'm using XP here you'll come up to this standard general support box with, that shows you your IP address and all that stuff and you're connected so the first thing you want to do to get into the device you go to properties you go down to TCP IP then you say properties again now you're gonna use not a, you're gonna move from DHCP to use the following IP address you wanna enter 192.168.1.3 and you put in the standard subnet mask just like that after that you say OK on the bottom. Now the next step you want to do close all this out you go into your browser, I'm using Internet Explorer you enter 192 1.2 it'll come up to IOGear Universal Wi-Fi Adapter Utility and on the, the bottom left you see a button called Site Survey so we do a site survey these are all my wireless networks that I'm picking up right now so this is my router I'm using to, to connect this device to it's a Cisco 09414 so I connect here I don't have any password if you had a password there's a box on the bottom that you put in the password to connect then on the bottom left you say connect and you, you get a pop-up window Windows XP telling you your device is con now connected now we need to do a status and you see your IP address there 1681.252 but that's just the IP that's configured there. We want to know what IP to use if we move this device on. So what you do is the next step you come back down here where you go to your change adapter settings you go properties you go back to TCP IP4 you do your properties again and you tell it to obtain an IP address automatically and you say OK close now if we come to the support screen here it'll be acquiring an IP address so hang on there if you look on the bottom left it's doing its search and you watch on the screen don't panic it went from invalid and that's our IP address that it pulled 192.168.1.120 now you can go ahead and plug this IP address into a DVR or any other laptop or any other device that needs an IP address from a hardwire Ethernet connection. You can power it off, power it back on, and it'll be there for you. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Thank you.